KMCN, Matt 947 FM, Clinton, Iowa. Well, hello there. I'm Billy Rose. It's time, it's time for Midwest Review, your favorite uh, local radio program. <laughs> if I do say uh, that's my words, not yours. Anyway, uh, I'm Billy Rose playing independent music from Midwest artists. I was supposed to have a couple guys come in and play live tonight from 6 to 7. Because of the weather, I'm not sure whether they'll show up or not. They may, they may not. Uh, so let me see if I can remember the names. I didn't write them down, of course. Oh, Seth Wright and Roy Lee McPeely. If uh, you guys are listening or anybody that knows them are listening, let them know to give me a call out here to the station and let me uh, know whether or not they're going to show up tonight. Uh, I can't blame them if they don't. Doesn't look like I'm going to have live guests tonight, so kind of kind of snowy out there. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get back into music now with a brand new one. Oh, by the way, I'm going to go overtime tonight, so if you're counting on the 6 o'clock hour to come and the show to be over, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm Billy Rose. You're listening to Mac FM 94.7. Midwest Review is on the air. Midwest Review, of course, features independent music from Midwest artists. Ooh, ooh, uh, Seth showed up. So we got Midwest Review live coming up. I've got Seth right here in the studio. Seth, how you doing, bud? Well, I'm doing better than last time, that's for sure. <laughs> I, uh, I made it. I showed up. Um, and I, I'm, I'm proud of that. Uh, it was an accomplishment. It was an adventure, but here we are. And uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. I, so are you going to do some originals for us, or I, what? I am. Uh, I've got some covers up my sleeve if we we have to go there, but I do have some <laughs> original music prepared. I would. That's what I'm pushing right now. If we're forced to go there. Mm -hmm. we... <laughs> and I am. I mean, that's what, that's my bread and butter most of the time. It's awesome to have um, an, uh, a venue or an outlet for original material in the area. You've been doing right. this for like 30 years or something. It's incredible. So thank you for doing well, that. I, I've been trying anyway. Yes. Well. <laughs> I just got back on the air actually for a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Things have changed since I was out here before. Certainly. Certainly. Well, you're, you're back at it. And uh, I, I couldn't be happier about that this evening. That's for sure. <laughs> well, keep keep doing what you're doing, man. I, we need you. Uh, you also do uh, soundtrack work. Oh, yes. Uh that is uh, part of part of the uh, credentials or whatever. I, did, I do not have a degree in music. I did not go to school for music. I did not attend an academy or a college um, to study music. Uh, but I am a credited film score composer for two films so far. Um, the uh, last, I believe, the last two Richard Haynes films. Um, one was came out in 2005, and one came out in 2010. And Andrew Nixon and I did the did the film score um, for those two movies in their entirety, which uh, is it was a, a pure luck circumstance that got really? got the job. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't because we were particularly talented or nobody was looking for us. It just we were in the right place at the right time. <laughs> and that is so true. That's how everything important happens. I think in music, it's the luck factor. It's like the only. Uh, vocation that requires luck to have a certain amount of success that people seem to want right. with music. Uh, it's got nothing to do with how good you are or anything like that. It's being <laughs> at the right place at the right time. Um, well, I was talking to Andy, and uh, he was telling me, he said, after Seth didn't show up that last time, he goes, I was going to take some of the stuff that we did for a movie. <laughs> And have you uh, have snippets of, of your conversation stuff? He told me about that. He says, I was going to put, call it, Where's Andy? <laughs> or, oh. no, not Andy. Where's Seth? And I thought, oh. He probably has that done right now. He'll probably send it to you now that you say something. It's like, I do have that. I did that. I did that. I stayed up late one night and did that. Oh, he's oh, a character. He is. He's a very interesting guy. And for uh, somebody who didn't have any background in uh, anything but percussion 
he did a lot of keyboard work and, and figured really? out a lot of melodies for stuff. It wasn't he didn't just do percussion on the film scores. Uh, he he came up with a lot of really neat ideas for hmm. melodic stuff. Um, I was absolutely blown away by his input and and really glad that we got to collaborate on that because he thought of a lot of cool stuff that I would have never thought of. Do you uh, do you know the names of the movies? I can't. Yes, uh, the one that came out in two thousand five is called Soft Money. Um, that is available. Um, a couple different ways. Mostly, uh, the most convenient way I've found is on Amazon. Okay. You can order it on DVD, or I believe you can still stream it. Um, it's like a rental thing where you can watch it through their okay. website for a certain amount of time for uh, 99 cents or whatever it is. Uh, the other one is called What Really Frightens You, and that was released on DVD worldwide. Um, it's on its second or third distributor right now. Um, it does keep getting released on DVD and Blu-ray, actually. DVD and Blu-ray. Um, so you can uh, you can buy your own copy of that. Uh, get online and search for that. And that is available. Um, it's pretty neat. Yeah, so if you find those two movies, you uh, heard Seth and Andy Nixon, both from... Yes, and uh, you've played a couple of those on your <laughs> yes. show. I know you have. I've yep. heard that. Andy gave me a CD with a couple tracks on it, so... Yeah. Yep. Pretty yep. cool. It is fun stuff. It's it's totally different uh, way to approach music. Is the uh, you're not supposed to hear it as much as feel it well, when it's yeah. when it's yeah. uh, when you're it's accompanying a visual thing like a <laughs> film. Uh, it's it's a mood enhancer thing, um, not not a standout thing. So that was really fun to try to add suspense or you know. <laughs> tension or right. any of those things you have to make that happen with music which is uh, it teaches you a lot about music <laughs> i would i would imagine that's harder said than done oh, it took so long and we you know think about that is when you sign a contract and agree to to uh, take on the role of composer for a film you have to submit a new piece of music every time the director is not satisfied with the piece that you've submitted. Really? It could be a hundred times. You could have to write a hundred different things for one little part of a movie. Wow. Um, you got to go <laughs> until he says, okay, that's it. That, that is, we're done with that one. Work on another one or, or whatever, but. Work on this other five minute <sighs> segment. <laughs> My goodness. Yep. Uh, it, it was tough. I never thought, I thought we were never going to get the theme song, you know, that plays really? in the opening credits for the other one. He wanted something that was, that was similar to a classic horror film, a specific one, uh -huh. but not a, close enough to get any infringement right, right. against it. So that's, <laughs> that's trickier than it sounds. Oh, I bet it is. Okay. Make it sound like that, but not like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got another song for us, Andy? Yeah. Or Andy. You can call me I Andy. I got Andy on like, my mind now. Some people call me Andy. Um, <laughs> not usually you, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Andy calls me Andy sometimes. It's, it's interesting. It's you like don't a want to know what I call him. I, you know, you don't. You know, oh. With friends like these, who needs friends? Seth Wright. Uh, this one. KMC, KMNC. Uh, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Go ahead, and I, I'm going to run in the other room and answer this phone line. Okay. Well, I'm taking over. Don't hang up. Don't, do not hang up. Bailey's on his way. Okay, well, uh, boy, I, 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 what I think I'll do here is, uh, if any of my friends are, in fact, listening, um, might as well do stuff that they can make fun of me for forever, so I, uh, will grace mostly my friends, but whoever's listening, and thank you for listening, and keep listening to Midwest Review and The Billy Rose Show. Yeah, he's awesome. That was Andy on the phone. Oh, dear oh, God. Lord. <laughs> Tell him I'm not here. He's he's at work, but he said he snuck out and went and listened in the car for a couple minutes. Now, that is a real friend. <laughs> that is a real friend. And it's he like, has a request. Oh. <laughs> of course he does. And I can't remember. <laughs> that is so priceless. What the request was, That's but it was karma. something by Adam Sandler. You know what? I knew, I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, according to the FCC, that is not going to happen. <laughs>
And he said, if you can't play that one, play the theme from Soft Money. same time i'm sure you can handle that thank you andy Next, so you know, i i heard that soundtrack through. that wasn't done on guitar on the soundtrack was it um there's guitar there's all sorts of stuff in there and uh, really? it was a guitar with a, a wah pedal so it okay. had a heavy effect thing on it so yeah i don't okay. have one of those today <laughs> i don't usually use one of those but yeah that was uh supposed to be like a 70s funk heist music you know and that's i don't know if that really fit the the movie as well as uh, we wanted it to but it, it sounded really cool and they were like yes we would love that in our movie so well that's good um, it's always nice when you fit in right it was nice to have them you know accept what we did because we were sure we were going to send stuff to them and they were going to be like mm, thanks but uh we're good <laughs> no it's not quite what we were looking for I don't think that is the material we want for our movie. But well, no, they they loved it. They're like, "Do you guys want to do the whole thing?" I'm like, of course we want to do the whole. Really? Thing. Yeah. We said so that was your audition, more or less, to that song. Um, and I think everything we sent them that uh, maybe three out of four got picked and used in the movie. Three out of the four things that we sent them initially. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was good. Um, and I don't know, the very, very positive. Sometimes you need a boost like that. Right. Like they're like, well, it, you know, they could have said, "Do you guys have anything else?" Do you <laughs> yeah. You know, "Sweet Home Alabama" <laughs> is nice, you know, and we, we like that you changed the words, but we can tell it's still "Sweet Home Alabama." <laughs> Do you guys write anything of your own or? No, they they loved it, which was great. We got time for one more if you got it. How uh, how long of a song do we have time for? How long is it? <laughs> Pretty long. Go ahead, I control the switches. Oh, so. man. Yes, just, just <laughs> give, me, give me a nice fade out. If that's what happens. This is a song that my guitar will not cooperate with. Right. I'm Billy Rose. I want to thank Seth Wright for coming out and playing tonight. Thank you very much, Seth. I appreciate it. He's playing now, so he isn't going to answer. But uh, that does it for the show. Uh, it's 7 o'clock, and uh, that means i got to go. So I appreciate you listening. Tune in every week, 4 to 6, and sometimes till 7, right here on Mac FM 94.7 for Midwest Review. Don't forget to recycle. And uh, I'll see you on the bus. KMCN, Mac 94.7 FM, Clinton, Iowa.